What's going on? Welcome to Agent Cosell. And if you can give me the HKO special, help the king out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So let's get into this. So first thing we're going to talk about is, yes, the U.S. national team. Um, yeah, majority set stayed in silence. So yeah, majority uh, of them remain silent. The national anthem plays part to the World Cup opener against Vietnam. So there it is. So here you go. United States Women's National Team. Relationship with the National has been uh, complicated over the years. In the past, some members of the team have taken a knee at the song played prior to kickoff of a met. But when the USWNT lined up on the field prior to start the opening 2000 FIFA World Cup match against Vietnam, the majority of the team stood there playing uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Although most of the players seem to be silent. The opposing the entire opposing team appeared passionate to sing the Vietnamese national anthem, a uh, Tian Quan Ka, or the song of the marching army was played. The players seemed to sing in unison, and all 11 have held their right hands over their hearts. So, yep. It, and, of course, six of the 11 American uh, soccer players who stood on the field at Eden Park in New Zealand stood with their hands to their side or behind the back as the anthem played. And then the remaining five players placed their hands over their hearts as a song played throughout the stadium. Uh, Julie Ertz, who's uh, married to the tight and, uh, uh, you know, uh, the tight end for the Ertz, uh, listener, Lindsay Hohen, and seeing mouths of the song while the rest of the team stood stoically. Yeah, and as a pair of the uh, crucial uh, victories in 2022 uh, punched Vietnam's first ticket to FIFA Women's World Cup. The newcomer's historic appearance at the game's biggest stage marked a new chapter in, in women's soccer in Vietnam. And since the inception in 97, the Vietnamese women nationals has faced an uphill battle to fight to gain the same amount of resources the male uh, team uh, traditionally received. In the past, some members' team would take on other jobs due to low pay and receive for playing on the national team. And the Vietnamese women certainly entered a first World Cup match with a sense of pride given on what they achieved by qualifying for the World Cup. And their passion was on full display as the national anthem played. And there's one of them. Yep. And once again, yep, once the match began, USC, USMT uh, team's entire town was on full display. The reigning two-time FIFA World Champions defeated Vietnam 3 nuts in the team's historic game. Team USA is once again the favorite to win the title. Of course, uh, Megan Rapino, one of the most prominent females to take a knee during the national anthem in solidarity with former Kaepernick against police brutality and social justice in 16. And Kaepernick began that protest in 16 before the start of the preseason. His gesture did not much garner much attention until the third time he did it prior to start uh, the preseason on the 26th. And there's Rapinho. Oh, God. And Rapinho was playing in her final World Cup earlier this month. Rapinho said she would retire from soccer at the end of this uh, 23 season. And she's been outspoken of socialists throughout her careers and equality. And in the least we into the 19th FIFA World Cup stated that she would never put her hand over her heart playing the national anthem. And I'll probably never sing the national anthem, she said at the time. So during a 2021 match against Australia, one only one member of the women's side opted against kneeling at the Star Spangled Banner. So, yep, that's where we're at. Now, I want to uh, show you uh, the difference between, um, let's see. So here's the American men's and the women's uh, World Cup. So let's see what happens. So look at this. So you see there between uh, the Team USA 
uh, men's and women's. So that was uh, them singing. And now let's look at the uh, Vietnamese national team and how much pride they sang with this. So check uh, this out. is the Vietnamese uh, national team. So, yep. So, you know, I don't know. And, you know, uh, Thursday they played the Netherlands. And, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm covering the game on my other channel. But can I cheer for the Team USA? So that's going to be one of those things. Uh, and what are they going to do? Are they going to uh, virtual signal again? Are they going to be silent again? Or are they going to uh, actually sing the national anthem? So this is what, you know, I'm kind of like sick of seeing like, yo, you know, what is going on? So that's what it is. So, yep. Yeah, so that's the Vietnamese team and they're proud to be there. And, you know, and all the other countries, they pretty much been having their hands over their hearts, singing their, uh, you know, minds out for this. So, yeah. And, of course, um, tomorrow um, on the other channel, I will be doing something about uh, the Philippines um, soccer. So, yep. So stay tuned for that. And, yeah. So if any of you enjoyed any of this content, man, please hit the like, subscribe, and comment on what you think of uh, the national anthem you know so we'll see and on and and of course on thursday my time which is wednesday night in the united states uh yep netherlands uh usa let's see what happens all right everyone take care and i'll see you in my next video